The Burt Macro Editor is an extremely powerful yet hidden away tool within Burt Suite. It basically allows you to grab dynamic parameters to use in your repeater or intruder and have them update automatically. And today I'm going to show you just how to use it. Hi and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell for more Burp Suite tips just like this. So today I'll be using Damn Vulnerable Web Application as a bit of a demo and we'll be brute forcing the login. Now obviously you wouldn't brute force uh, using Burp Suite, you'd use something like Hydra, but this is more so just to show you how this could be used and where else you could use it in your pen test. So let's get started. So as I mentioned, we'd be using Damn Vulnerable Web Application, which I'm using on TryHack Me. You can just spin this up yourself for free. You don't need a paid subscription or you can download the files and use it yourself. Either way is fine. So we're using the application straight out of the box. I haven't made any changes to it. So what we're going to do is try to brute force this login. So we'll start by putting the username and a password and we're just going to assume we know the username but don't know the password. I'll get ready to intercept this request and log in and we can see that there is a user token or CSRF token. This will be fine if we were submitting one request but if we were to send this over and over again then we will then the token won't validate and even if we have a correct login credentials we won't be allowed to log in. So instead, I'm going to show you how to dynamically update this parameter every time you submit a request. So let's just send this to the repeater for now because we might need it later and we'll let this go through. So a quick check through our HTTP history. We can see that we've tried to log on and we basically failed. And that's all we need, just the attempt to log on. Now you're going to go over to the project options tab. You click that and go to session. So here is where we create our macro. A macro is composed of two parts, the macro itself and the rules that apply it. So we'll start by making the macro. Go down to macros and click add. And then this will pop up with the macro recorder and the macro editor. In the recorder, we want the get request, which has the user token or CSRF token. And we'll click OK on that. Next, we want to configure this item to dynamically grab that user token. So we click configure and then go down to add for a custom parameter. We scroll down to where that parameter is displayed to the user. It's typically within a hidden input box there. And we just double click that value and we can see it automatically creates a regex to find it. Simply click OK out of all these and that's basically done. That's a macro. Now we'll add the rule. So we'll just call this rule macro CSRF. We, for actions, we go to add and then run a macro. Select macro one, which is the only macro we have. And we click OK. Next, we need to apply it to a specific scope. So in this case, we'll just apply it to all URLs. And here we can choose what burp components to use. So the scanner, sequencer, repeater, intruder, everything like that. For now, we just want to use the intruder, but we'll, we'll just hit OK. Great. So that's basically our macro done. So now if we go to repeater, we can see that every time we submit a request, this token will automatically upgrade. See? As you can see, every time that user token is dynamically being generated because it's submitting that macro before this repeater request. So then if we just throw this to the intruder, assuming we know the username and we just want to brute force the password, just add that parameter and we'll just add a few incorrect passwords. And that should be enough. Now it's very important when we go to resources that we only use one thread for this. So just to go to create a new resource pool and go to one maximum concurrent request. 
This is because it's dynamically generating the CSRF token and then grabbing it. So if you have multiple threads doing this all at the same time, they're gonna get different tokens and it's not gonna work. So again, this isn't ideal for brute forcing, but it's, uh, it's just to demonstrate the purpose on how you can circumvent the, the CSRF tokens when sending multiple requests. So let's fire off this attack. And we can see it is a bit slower because it is always performing that macro before it performs the intruder request. So incorrect logins should give us a response of login.php for the redirect location. But hopefully if this works, then our correct password will take us to index.php. And that's basically it. You can use this anywhere throughout your pen test, anytime that you're trying any sort of intruder request, but you're being blocked by a CSRF token, or you're trying to do a sequencer to grab cookies, but you have a multi-step logon process, all of this will be helpful for you. So that's basically it. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, hitting that like button will not only help me out, but help people like you find content like this. Leave your comments below with other burp tips that you'd like to share and I'll catch you in the next one.